Welcome to chapter 4 of the Ultimate Hyper-V Guide. In this chapter, we'll explore storage, storage options and configurations in Hyper-V. You'll learn about virtual hard disks, storage pools, and how to optimize, optimize storage for performance and reliability. We'll also discuss different types of storage, architecture, and best practices for managing your VM storage. Ready to dive into the world of Hyper-V storage? Let's begin. Storage in Hyper-V, uh, there are two types of v, uh, virtual hard drives. There's a VHD, virtual hard disk, and there's a VHDX, virtual hard disk extended. VHD is the older format, compatible with older versions of Hyper-V and older, uh, other virtualization platforms. There's a maximum size of two terabytes. The VHDX, virtual hard disk extended, is a new format introduced in server 2012, supports a larger size up to 46 terabytes and provides better performance. For creating a virtual hard drive, go to Hyper-V Manager, press New and press Hard Disk. Choose the format VHD or VHDX. VHDX is the faster and more newer version. You can choose for a fixed size. In this case, the entire uh, first hard drive will be allocated at once. So 100 gigabytes will mean 100 gigabytes uh, on your hard drive that's already assigned. Dynamically expanding is that you choose a 100 gigabyte hard drive and it's only filled with for example, two gigabytes, it will only take two gigabytes of space. And the differencing is more for uh, test environments. Uh, you will use a parent disk, that's for example, 64 gigabytes, and it will only uh, track the difference. So if you use for, uh, as a clone, uh, two gigabytes as for difference, for example, for Windows updates, it will only add that two gigabyte difference. This example will use dynamically expanding and give it a name and give it a location. So for example, give it additional disk. Select the size and finish. To assign the additional disk, you can go to settings your SQSI controller, select hard drive, select add. Instead of select new, you can go to browse, select your new disk, open, apply, and OK. To expand uh, a virtual hard drive, go to settings, and for example, our additional disk drive needs to be bigger, go to edit. Go to expand and give it a new size. Press next, finish, OK. Thank you for watching this chapter of the Ultimate Hyper-V Guide. We hope you find it informative and are excited to continue your journey into the world of Hyper-V. Stay tuned for more insights and hands-on guides. For our dedicated supporters, upcoming chapters are available right now exclusively for YouTube members. Each week, a new chapter will be released for everyone to enjoy, so don't worry if you're not a member yet. And if you're eager to dive into the entire guide, you can download the full book on Ko-fi. It's available for free or with any contribution you like to make. Your support helps to grow this channel and continue providing valuable content to the community. So join us. Hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and share this series with anyone who might benefit from mastering Hyper-V. Your support really means the world to us. Thank you once again for joining us. We look forward to seeing you in the next chapter. Let's continue our journey into virtualization together. See you soon.